This regular board meeting of the Waco Independent uh, School Board is hereby called to order. Next, we have our College Board National African American and Hispanic Recognition Awards. In August 2023, the College Board awarded thousands of students from across the country with academic honors for the annual College Board National Recognition Programs for excelling in their classrooms on College Board assessments. This year, we have 31 Waco ISD students, which are recipients for our National African American Recognition Award or the National Hispanic, Hispanic Recognition Award. Um, this more than triples the amount that we had last year. So we're really, really proud of them. So we'll move on to number five, superintendent's report. Dr. King Cannon. Uh, next item is the accountability lawsuit update. Um, everyone knows that I testified at, uh, at the temporary injunction hearing for the accountability lawsuit on October the 10th at the Travis County Civil Courthouse in Austin. The commissioner was not there, and there were some staffers there. Um, but they admitted that um, TEA did not meet the statutory requirements in the Texas Education Code to provide districts with performance measures, methods, and procedures that will be used to assign performance ratings. And to this date, we still don't yet have the accountability manual. They also admitted uh, that they did not intend to roll out a new test and a new accountability system at the same time and that there was not any statutory requirement that they do so. And we just learned that the judge granted the temporary injunction so that those ratings would not be released. Transformation Waco, I wanna talk about the annual evaluation. So with the June 15th expiration of the contract with Transformation Waco, we need to begin planning for what's next. Um, yesterday in a letter to their families and staff, Transformation Waco shared plans to restructure as a nonprofit focused exclusively on providing wraparound services after the contract ends. And so at the same time, uh, we're ready to move the operation of the four remaining schools because we closed Indian Spring uh, with the opening of GW Carver, but we're ready to move the four um, back to the district. Moving on to item number nine, consider, discuss, and take appropriate action regarding resolution approving renovation, construction, and financing of an addition to McLennan Central Appraisal Appraiser Center. And so we're asking for permission and for y'all to sign a resolution allowing us to go forth and uh, build an addition to our building. We're proposing a 2,500 square foot addition, um, which would allow us to expand our customer service and have six people, six customer service staff. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Moving on to item number 10, review and discuss the Waco High School construction project. You know, we're in good shape um, on the project and, you know, we're, we're all committed to the success. So um, I have to really say that, you know, it's, they're on budget and they're maintaining their milestones. And that's what we want to see on a $140 million high school. That's a big deal. 